What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nick and Zana Landscape, and welcome to Getting Organized, episode number six. In this episode, we're gonna discuss a great tip for your hand tools, whether that be in your shed, in your basement, or in your enclosed trailer. So this is what our setup looks like, guys. This is in our wood shed. It's just an old shed, it's got a rock floor, it's not much. But we have these hooks here from Home Depot. You guys have seen these or similar ones to these in our enclosed trailer setup that we use for our backpack blowers. Uh, this we just have a nail for these old snow shovels. I don't even know why I still have these things um, That's the same Like I just talked about for the blowers, but then we also have these ones here. We got all these from Home Depot And those work great that's for our pitchforks Quick note about the pitchforks. I see a lot of you guys doing mulch using like a scoop shovel use a pitchfork It's way easier quick tip um, but yeah, that's what we have for the rakes and the shovels. So it's something super simple, but it wastes zero floor space. Like I said, this is this is just in our woodshed, but you can do this anywhere that you have any kind of stud that you can drill onto or screw onto, nail onto, whatever way you want to fasten it. But quick tip that works out great. Those brackets don't get much more simple, guys. Two bolts, two nails, two screws, whatever you want to use. And then just figure out your spacing, figure out what's going to work best for you. I did one kind of chest height and then one up higher above my head so I could put them close together and then kind of have the handles come down in between the shovels or the rakes or whatever. You kind of saw that. I'll show you another picture real quick right here. But again, super simple. You just gotta make it work for you, make it work for your space, whatever you got. But hope this tip helped you guys. And real quick, I wanna show you what to do if one of these handles on these pieces break. This stuff happens to us all the time. May have never happened to you. You may have never had to replace one. Or you may be that person that when you break a shovel handle, you get a new shovel. Don't do that. It's much cheaper to replace the handle. You can get a handle for like nine or 10 bucks at Lowe's or Home Depot. And I'm gonna show you right now how to replace that. So this is basically what you got. This is a new handle. Like I said, I think I paid nine bucks for this. Um, this shovel right here, I already took out the piece of wood that was in there, but this one's still stuck in there, still broke off uh, where it broke whenever we were on the job. But you can see that pin right there that goes through, goes all the way through. You gotta cut that out, so I don't know if you can see it. You, yeah, you can see it right there, that piece of metal in there. You gotta cut that out. So sometimes it works better to just cut one of the heads off. You can see this shovel's already had a couple different handles put on it. You can see the marks on there where we had to cut the old pin off. But uh, just cut that off, slide that out. You might have to beat it out or something uh, with a hammer, but get that out of there. And then you'll slide your new handle in and your new handle comes with a new pin. I literally just broke my vice. Harbor Freight's finest. I got my shovel fixed. But seriously, that is not cool. Not cool. 
Not cool at all. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Move on, go buy a new vice I guess. Probably won't buy that one again. But I need to get a new one. Move on, next project, next job, next video. Thanks for watching guys. Appreciate all the support. Be sure to check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. Like our Facebook page, please. And hope to continue to see you in our YouTube videos. I'll see you in the next one.